What's good you guys? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Come join the fam. So today we're gonna be answering very deep relationship questions. It's a challenge that's been going around, so we finna hop on it. Is you ready to get deep or not? I'm ready. The deeper the better. Let's <laughs> get into it. So before we get into the actual video, today's video is sponsored by Mr. I didn't know too much about the company or you know what prep really was. Honestly, till recently, we're just kind of unfamiliar with it. But prep is a once daily pill that is 99% effective at preventing HIV. With Mr. you can consult securely online with a licensed physician and complete all required STI testing at home. Oh, how convenient is that? You don't have to go wait in line. You don't have to go to no doctors. It's just at home. You can handle everything. Mr. Prescribes Prep online and delivers it discreetly to your door. So you ain't got to go nowhere. You ain't got to deal with the hassle. It's at your door. It's your business. Mr. Operates in 50 states, including DC and Puerto Rico. Insurance, no insurance. Mr. Still has you covered. Mr. is completely free, a totally free service that works with over 100 nonprofit organizations to help make prep available across the country to everybody. To keep your sexual health up to date, you know, Mr. does follow up STI testings every three months. Again, all completed from the comfort of your home. It's actually like extremely convenient if you think about it, but I hope all you guys are staying safe. Stay safe. This is a great way to do so. And thank you so much, Mr. for sponsoring this video. If you guys want more information, tap into the link down below. You can get all your information on Mr. So back into this challenge, deep relationship questions. So would you rather acquire material items or experiences? <laughs> experiences. Yeah, it's experiences for me too. It's like all about the experience, like material things, they come and go, but you know, you got your memories, long. you got your memories forever, so. When were you the most proud of yourself? Hmm, probably when I graduated because I kind of messed up at the beginning of high school and I had a lot of catching up to do when I finally did go back, so. It was just a lot, it was like down to the last day. I didn't even get to walk at the ceremony because I didn't have anything completed by then, but it all worked out. Hey. I stayed late did put in a lot of work and still graduated with everyone. So That's I was proud. Probably coming out, I don't know. When you became a dad? Became a dad, yeah. I guess that's that's a proud moment. Becoming a dad and coming out. You know, I've had a lot of things I've been proud of myself for. You got a lot to be proud for. So what is your longest lasting friendship? I would say like 14 years plus. Hmm. Yeah, mine's like 20, 20 years plus actually just lost contact or stopped talking to someone that I knew since preschool. So we was friends for a very long time. So that was like 27, 26 years. Damn near my whole life. Hopefully you can get in contact with me. No, it's okay. We're gonna leave the past in the past and we're gonna keep it pushing. <laughs> Were you nervous during our first kiss? Of course. I was a little bit, but honestly, like I just felt so comfortable with him right off the bat. It was like, I was just ready to kiss him in person because there had been so much back and forth, it's like. But yeah, I mean, a little bit, little butterflies. So would you rather stay in a fancy penthouse suite or a private beach house? I already know your answer. It's gonna be a penthouse suite for me. This is gonna be a penthouse suite for me too. Like I'd rather be, have my balcony overlooking the city with, you know, Fat crib, like of course I'm not running water. All of course, time. I want a beach house. Yeah, like why not, right? But I feel like I want that a little more down the road when I'm more like super settled down or whatever. Retired. Retired. <laughs> married. Yeah, it's a penthouse for me. You that's know? that's the goal yeah. at this point. Penthouse vibes. That's you know. Can't beat it. Three words to describe yourself. You go first. Three words to describe me. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you feel about yourself? What do you think about yourself? Come on. Say talented, ambitious, um, anchored. I'm anchored in what I do. Some unique word choices. I have one of my tattoos on my neck says anchored. Period. I don't know, I guess for me, I would like to consider myself like genuine, honest, and kind. I feel like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a kind person. I, I want the best for me, everybody else. I want everyone to win. Everyone to feel good about themselves. Like. Feel me? Everybody deserves to win. If you can change one thing about yourself, what would it be? It would be my mind racing. 
Mind racing. I was gonna say overthinking. Yeah, you know, overthinking. That's like a big thing. I do overthink a lot. Slow down just a little bit, you know, but. I guess like overthinking and then just caring too much. It's like sometimes I'll go out of my way for people that I don't know if they would go out of their way for me. And it's like, I just wish I just wouldn't care about things so much. Yeah. But I'm learning to like it. Now, now I'm just at the point where it's like, if you're not reciprocating energy. <laughs> then it's for real. Then <laughs> what what's happening? Yeah, what that's like? just, yeah. Describe the moment you realize you were falling in love. Is there a moment? I feel like I knew I was falling in love like for a while. Yeah. But there was a specific time kind of early on in the relationship and I was going through some personal things and I was really like feeling kind of low and I was just really upset in a bad mood. And I feel like he picked up on that without me even having to express it. He just picked up on that and just started doing things to try to make me feel better. And I feel like when someone like just peeps that out and just goes out of their way to make it better, it's like, it's like, oh, That's love. I love this. I love him. If they can make me feel better in a moment like that. Well, I think I fell in love right when I first texted him. I don't know. <laughs> like, no, you felt, you, I just, you thought you fell in love. Yeah, I thought I fell in love. I got confirmation. It was just hard hard not to. I can see it in his eyes and you know, the way he talks to me. But, you know, just our just our one on one just moments like I don't know, everything was just like clicking in the areas that I needed it to click in and you know that I wanted, like, you know. Like, yeah, people always say, How do you know when you're in love? It's like you'll know. Yeah, you'll know. And if you have to question it, then you're not there yet. And it's like he already knows like before I even have to like say it or get on it or anything like it's like you know it's in sync and it's like I just once I felt that energy flow it was just like an automatic like okay this is you know love like you know right how do your parents feel about us having kids um supportive yeah they're supportive my pro my parents probably are can't wait for that yeah but I already told them like I don't know if it's gonna happen I don't know I don't know yet, you know? Obviously would have to be figured out like the route we want to take to make that happen, you know what I mean? Right. So it's just like, it's just a lot. My mind space ain't there yet, so. But I know my parents would be super psyched. They'll be hella happy. Same here, you know, my parents love the kids. And I already got two. Yeah, they're but... probably done. They don't, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's an important life lesson you learned? I would say finances, like life lessons with finances. I'm like. <laughs> Credit cards, and, oh my you know, God. just digging your way out of that. Just out of digging, debt. you know, like when you finally stop digging, you're like, dang, like you know. I don't even know. Like, I guess it's a cheesy answer, but I guess just to love yourself. Like, it's not cheesy. There's no coming from the skin God put you in. It's you. Yeah, just love yourself and just keep pushing through. Next question: Do you trust people easily? No. No. no, not even close. Because unfortunately, a lot of people are untrustworthy, and they're they ruin it for everybody. So it's like I don't even know what is wrong with some people. Like seriously, but at this point, trust has to be built, and it's it takes a lot to build my trust. Can't trust everybody, but the ones sad you do to, trust. You know, yeah. sadly to say, but I think it's the smartest choice you can make is not trust everybody. Do we face hate being together? I'm sure we do, but ain't sure nobody, do, but ain't nobody speaking, speaking up about yeah, their feelings. Yeah. You know, it is what it is, honestly. Like, I'm sure they do, and I'm sure we are gonna experience that. <laughs> we haven't experienced that like firsthand. Like, yeah. somebody just straight up coming talking, you know, ignorant about our relationship. But you know, we've been out certain places. We we see st just stares and don't care. <laughs> That's why. Don't care. Stare away. Cause I'll be quick to defend minds and just, just, just the community in general, like mm -hmm. just mind your business. First thoughts about me. Okay. From well, aside from just being like, dang, he looked good. I was getting skater boy vibes. Like when you pulled up, you had like a, like a, I want to say you were, you had like a skater outfit on. And so my first impression of you was like, I don't know. I don't know. Like what? I had skater boy vibes. Well, you had like those, you had like vans on and then you had those shorts that were all cut up and then you had like a, a plaid shirt on. 
I don't know. It was just giving me skater vibes, and it just wasn't what I was expecting. But I've come mm -hmm. to just notice that Dion's swag is, like, all over the place. <laughs> but in a good way. In, like, the best way. Like, he could pull off anything. I don't know. I, that was just... I just remember... Like, if I think back to the day you walked in, I just, for some reason, remember your outfit. Oh <laughs> I don't know. I liked it, though. You know, want to know, since you're talking about cute. skater boy outfits, my first impression was... What? He had on a button-down shirt, like he was, <laughs> like we were going out to eat, like we were going to dinner. That's just a regular. He got the button on, you know, he was all slick and smooth, like, you know. Well, I mean, we're meeting for the first time. It's like, I don't know, you might want to take me somewhere. I don't know, but what if I wanted to see you in like some shorts and a shirt just. Well, you didn't even know me like that for me to be all casual kickback. When I first meet people, I like to be on my best. He was like, we were going out on our three year anniversary. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, you talking crazy now. We don't even. No, my first impression, he was very sweet, very sweet and welcoming. He welcomed me in the door, like just open arms, like, come in. <laughs> yeah, come. we've been talking for weeks. I damn near ready to <laughs> drag you in. No. <laughs> no. No, but it was a good first meeting. Mm -hmm. But. That's about as deep as we about to get today. We might have to do a part two if y'all are feeling this video. Yeah. We missed some questions. Y'all want that part two? Drop it down below. And yeah, huge shout out to Mr. Once again. Thank you for sponsoring this video. You guys get all that information down below. The link is in our bio. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our Patreon, our backup channel. Everything is linked down below so you don't miss anything yes. that Steven and Dion are doing. Make sure your notification bells are turned on. Da -ding -a -ding -a -ding. You don't want to miss a video. And yeah. Tap in, y'all. And we'll catch y'all on the next one. Until then, peace, love, stay blessed. Stay blessed. <laughs>